Over the last few weeks, more and more restaurants across Guangdong have slowly started to reopen, under the guidance and supervision of local authorities. As we move on from the epidemic, we are slowly starting to see a light at the end of the tunnel for the catering sector. Aaron McKenzie, who has been running a restaurant in Guangzhou, has been invited onto our show to tell us his story and how he has coped with the difficulties he's faced since the COVID-19 outbreak began. So what are some of the major challenges that you're facing at the moment? Probably maintaining the business. Okay. So it just comes down to cash, but it's trying now to see well, how long will it last. So we thought, okay, end of April, people will start to come back. But now if there's more cases outside coming back into China and they have to be quarantined, will people come back? Who will be back? How do we then maintain the business? So what used to be three months in advance is now two days in advance to plan. Aaron made various plans to deal with the virus outbreak's changing situation, which included finding ways to increase takeout order numbers. We've seen an increase of about 20%, 25% okay. uh, in deliveries or takeouts. But also our main customers that would get takeouts aren't necessarily buying uh, Western food or are not here to buy it on takeout. Um, we use Meituan for a very long time and only Meituan, but now we use uh, another delivery app, which means people outside the radius of Meituan can get their deliveries. A lot of friends that have restaurants have had deals with their landlords or actually no deals with their landlords. Ours has been very generous, so in February they gave us a very good discount. Um, February is around 30-33% reduction and I'm very bad at math but I would assume that March is around 15 or 16% rent reduction. Okay. And I think this is based on how many days we can be open for how many customers do we have? Customers come in, there's obviously the government regulations of temperature, time they arrive, table they sit at, um, name, phone number, um, yeah, the temperature. Some customers like it on their wrists, some like it on their forehead, some like it wherever they want it, as long as the temperature <laughs> reads low, it's fine. Depending on how many drinks you've had. <laughs> yes. Well, we did have one guy come in and the temperature was way too high. And he had said he'd been out drinking with friends, okay. uh, Maltai. Wow. So, but his temperature was far too high. I said, I'm really sorry, we, we can't have you in here. So. You should have just told him to go down and get an ice cream and come back in five <laughs> minutes. <laughs> I should have done that, it probably would have been easier. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's just making sure that the customer that walks in is safe, yep. but the customer they're sitting next to. So we obviously have um, enough space between the customers for them to feel safe. Mm -hmm. um, and also now I think with COVID-19, when people sneeze or they cough, they immediately look up to see who's looking mm -hmm. to make sure, okay, I don't have it. Mm -hmm. So um, there's hand sanitizer on the table, just trying to get them to proactively um, mm -hmm. wash their hands before they eat, yeah. use the hand sanitizer. And what we do is we get the staff to constantly use the hand sanitizer as well. Mm -hmm. So then if the customer sees the staff doing it, then they feel like they want to do it as well. Mm -hmm. What has been your overall impression of how the Chinese government has handled the COVID-19 situation? I think what they've done is uh, extremely courageous. Mm -hmm. uh, they're putting their entire nation first, mm -hmm. uh, making sure that they can control the spread, which I think is the most important. Mm -hmm. uh, this is something that, from all of my travel around the world, this is probably one of the only countries in the world that could do that. Mm -hmm. And to watch them do it for the best of their country, I think is quite amazing. Mm -hmm.